Welcome. In front of me I have Mobvoitic Watch C2 Plus and I'm gonna show you how to uh, pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the upper button. Keep holding it until you see the watch logo on the screen and once you see the logo you can uh, release the button and wait until the watch is done booting up. And once the watch turns on, you probably will see the message tap to begin on the screen. So tap on the screen to begin. Then it will open the list of languages and you can scroll through this list by swiping up and down. Find the language you would like to use on your watch. And once you find it, tap on it to select it. After you select the language, scroll down and tap on. Uh, I've read it. And now we need to download and install the Wear OS application on our phone. So, uh, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, tap on a uh, Play Store icon to open the Google Play Store. In the Play Store, tap on search, type in uh, Wear OS. And you should see this application, Wear OS by Google. Tap on the install button to download and install it. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the app, tap on start setup. Uh, tap on agree. Here you can agree to send the diagnostic reports to Google if you want to. I'm gonna tap on no thanks. And now I wait until the app detects your C2 Plus watch. If it does, tap on it. Tap on pair. Right here we can uh, basically copy Google account to our watch. Uh, so if you want to use um, Google features like Google Play Store, Gmail, uh, messages and stuff like that, you will need to copy a Google account to your watch. And you can do it by selecting one of the Google accounts from your phone by enabling it right here the switch and then you can tap on next it, it's not mandatory so you can always skip this step to not copy anything but like i said before if you want to use google services on your watch you will need to do it and to copy the account enable one then tap on next you can also copy multiple if you want to. i'm just gonna copy this one then tap on copy and enter the password to confirm that it's me And tap on sign in to log in. After you copy a Google account, you can also connect to the Wi Fi network. So basically, it will copy the networks uh, from your phone and save them on your watch. You can skip this step if you want to. I'm just gonna tap on connect to connect to um, Wi Fi. Next, we have the option to uh, manage calls and sync the contacts and stuff like that from your phone to your watch. So if you want to reply to your contacts from your watch to the messages and stuff like that, tap on next and allow the required permissions. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and keep it disabled. Like that. Then we have the calendar. So if you want to manage the calendar on your watch or see the events from your calendar, you need to tap on next and allow the permission. If you don't care, you can skip this step and keep it disabled. And then we have the notifications. So if you want to receive the notifications uh, from your watch or rather from your phone on your watch, uh, you need to allow notification access. To do it, tap on allow button and then uh, tap on allow again, I believe. If you don't want to use this feature, you can always skip this step by tapping on skip. I'm just gonna allow it like that. Uh, for some reason, we need to tap on allow again. It will redirect us to this page. And here, make sure that the Wear OS by Google is on the allowed list. It is, but if it wasn't, you can tap on it 
and tap on the switch next to allow notification access to flick it on and once you flick it on you can go back to the app and should go further now tap on next and let's wait until the setup is complete Okay, then once you see this page, tap on done. And you should see your TechWatch C2 Plus on the, in the app, basically on the device page. And of course your watch uh, should be ready to use. Uh, I'm trying to skip the tutorial, but apparently I can't, so I'm just gonna tap on learn more. It's gonna tell me to do some stuff. And after you're done with the tutorial, you can use your watch uh, normally. Okay, and now we can use it. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.